I'm Heidi Borchers. Brown grocery bag is probably one of the most versatile recycle items that there is. There's so many things you can do with it. Today I've made some shabby chic Victorian flowers and I just love the look of them. By just putting a whitewash onto the brown grocery bag and cutting your flowers out with a die cutting machine, you have the perfect flower for the perfect shabby chic Victorian look. First thing I do is to take some white acrylic paint and put some water in just to make it into a wash. All I want is just a really light uh, color wash on my brown paper bag. A large brush works well and do not worry about the look of it because when you go to cut the flowers it works perfect every time. And I go through the whole thing, set that aside to dry. And then I like to put a little bit of color onto my background. So I just take some other pink, like a light pink and a light blue, wipe my brush off so it's almost dry, and then just stroke across, giving me a little bit more color. If I want to add a little pink, same thing. Keep your brush dry, and just go across like that. Now we're ready to die cut our flowers. So my flowers have just come out of the die cutting machine. And they are ready to put a little bit more embellishment color on them. I like to just take a little bit of rub and buff and go over the edges of them. I found that gave me a little bit more dimension. You can go over the whole thing or just the edge. Now we're ready to put them together. I'm using the Aline's Tacky Dot Roll. This is a dry dot of adhesive. It comes in three different sizes, small, medium, large. I'm using the medium today. And all I do is just cut apart, and you can see I have the little dry dots on there. So what I do is just stick my flower, stick the dot down on my flower, and just start building my flower from the bottom up. And you can use as many petals as you want. When you have it together like that, all I do is kind of abuse it. That's what makes it a little bit more shabby chic. And I also use a lean tacky dot to put the pearl in the center. The little secret here is fold your dot in half before you take it off. Fold it in half again so you have a kind of a bunched up dot. Put your pearl in it and put it in the center of your flower, like so. For the frame, I use the heart cutout frame, and I use the Aline's Fast Grab Tacky Spray to adhere my scrapbooking paper to the background, and then all of your flowers on the inside will be attached with a Aline's Tacky Dot. When you put your flowers into your frame, be sure you put them real tight and snug because I think that's what makes them look really cool. Also, I put little, a few little pieces of lace scraps and I also cut some leaves and always put a bow to hang it because that satin bow just makes it look really shabby, shabby chic and Victorian. The Aline's Fast Grab Tacky Spray and the Aline's Tacky Dot Rolls are available at Michael's. It's terrifically tacky and creatively cool.